What's going on guys and welcome back to part 2 of the Watch We Build a Lead Generation Campaign for Dentists by using Facebook Ads. So in the previous uh, part, part 1, I basically mapped out the flow of what I am planning on doing you know, during the rest of uh, this little video series and I also decided on you know, how I'm going to set up the landing page. Am I going to use lead forms or click funnels? I basically decided for a click funnels landing page and then from there uh, we send them to a thank you page. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be setting up the campaign and I'm going to be deciding on which audience I want to test first. Roll the intro. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome back to basically step two of our Watch Me Build a Dentist campaign series. So in the previous video, we basically mapped out our flow, you know, what we're going to do, what the goal is. Obviously the goal is to get leads for this um, fictional client. We tailored it towards a um, free consultation uh, about teeth whitening and we basically used the dental house as a sort of example for this um so you know for those of you that are just tuning in we are not actually running this campaign for the dental house we're just using them as a uh, basically a benchmark you know an example for this so the flow is free consultation about teeth whitening we then send to a landing page uh, on click funnels and uh, basically from there they fill out their details then we can get the dentist um, to ring them up. But also on the thank you page, we have like a one-time offer where we actually get them to ring up the dentist. So uh, we basically build out the CRM system for the dentist and the dentist also gets a lot of calls, you know, which brings them in more business. In terms of third-party software, we are gonna use Zapier for this. Uh, with Zapier, we're going to connect our click funnels to Google Sheets. So every every lead that comes in will be uh, basically added to a sheet. So it's all neat and tidy and we can just deliver that to the client or we can share the sheet with the client so the client can basically see the, the leads come in. Uh, or we can also set up, or in, in addition to that, we can set up um, a zap that goes from the, the lead coming in to uh, the client getting a text message or via email. Again, again, depending on what the client wants. Some clients don't want to get bombarded with texts. Uh, some clients would just rather have an email. In terms of the tracking, we are going to be using uh, the Facebook Pixel for this. We're going to have a, uh, so obviously the Pixel is going to be installed on the entire flow. And then we're going to have a view content Pixel on the landing page and a lead pixel on the thank you page so we can basically track within Facebook how many leads are coming through uh, in addition to the actual uh, CRM. So um, basically, you know, we have two methods of tracking. We've got two methods of uh, basically the customer getting in contact with the dentist. And um, in my opinion, this is quite a good little flow. Uh, obviously, we will probably, you know, uh, change a lot of things around while setting up this campaign or maybe I'll get a new idea and we'll change things but for now this is what the flow looks like and then in this video I'm going to set up the campaign I'm going to show you what guys what campaign I'm going to set up and I'm going to basically choose one ad set so one type of audience um, and in the next few videos we can set up the ads and the landing page etc and then connect everything together and then hopefully we can get this done in like five videos or less um, but yeah first of all like I said we're going to set up our campaign. So we are going to be using a demo ad account, as you can see here. If you haven't got an ad account or if you have not got your client's ad account, um, if you haven't got your own ad account, then business.facebook.com, then click, uh, basically, you know, go through all the details, create an ad account as well, attach a payment method, and then you'll basically be brought to this page here. Um, if you haven't got any type of ads at all, there'll be a button in the middle of the screen that says create, or you can just click on that green create button here. If you haven't got access to your client's account, then what you will need to do is ask your client to attach or basically add your uh, personal profile, so the email that you used for your Facebook to their business manager. Why that way? Because this way, um, if anything happens to your client's account, um, it doesn't affect your own Facebook ecosystem. So if you run a multiple campaigns for multiple uh, clients and one of them gets disabled, uh, you know, the whole house doesn't come falling down. Okay, so as you can see here, we now need to choose our marketing objective. Um, they literally the most, most used uh, objective for me is traffic where we basically bring um, traffic from Facebook onto a website. What a lot of people also do is conversions. There's a you know, debate 
whether or not we should go for conversions uh, as opposed to traffic because with traffic you just get a lot of eyeballs onto a website and with conversions you can actually um, you know, get people or find people within Facebook that do a, you know, a specific feature. For example, if you want to get purchases for your website, then you know, it is said that you need to run conversion ads, optimize for purchase. Uh, so basically Facebook will then look at people that uh, are more likely to purchase your product. However, um, I am still very much um, of the opinion that you need a lot of data for that. And if you run conversions at conversion ads right off the bat, it'll be very, very expensive. And for this, I think a traffic campaign would work best. Okay. Now, if you were to run Facebook lead ads, we would do a lead generation um, campaign, which is literally the same as a traffic campaign. The only difference is, is that rather than clicking on the link to go to a website, you click on the link and it'll pop like a, basically a Facebook lead form will pop up. But because we are creating our, our landing page, or like basically our lead form in ClickFunnels, we will just be using traffic. Okay. So in terms of traffic, um, you can opt within traffic, you can optimize for um, specific metrics and we will be optimizing for landing page views. Why? Because we've got a landing page and we don't just want people to click on the link. We want people to actually, you know, load the landing page and um, basically view the content that is on there. So traffic, switch your objective to drive more conversions. That is not what we're going to be doing. Even Facebook is telling us to do it, but we are not going to be doing it. Um, so campaign budget optimization for those that do not know what this is, is basically uh, if you have this switched on, you will let Facebook decide which ad set, so which audience gets the most budget. So let's say we have a hundred euros in this case, and we have five ad sets, then rather than spending the budget on like, you know, 20 on each ad set, it will allocate 80% of the budget to the audience that Facebook thinks will convert best for you. So in this case, we can actually switch it on, but we'll switch it off for now and then continue with the campaign. So we've got traffic campaign, and then uh, this is basically the, the ad set. So as you can see here, there are three levels to Facebook. You've got the campaign level, which is the overall objective. You've got the ad set level, which is where you basically you know decide on your budget and your audience. And then the ad uh, level is like the third tier, is where you basically you know, set up your creative, your advertisement, okay? So in terms of the ad set, we are gonna call this audience um, UK. And then what shall we do in terms of, our ages we can do 18 to let's say 55 something like that um are we going to do a male female split shall we possibly wouldn't be a bad idea um so what we can do is have uh like basically you know group all the ages together but split up male and female to see which gender converts best um with it being teeth white well then again like males do go for teeth whitening as well um, I'm just thinking out loud here, guys. What I think I'll do is I'll do a male-female split, and then um, we can basically let the data decide in three days' time. We're not actually going to set up this ad, but you know, um, hypothetically speaking, if we were to set up this ad, we could then run the campaign for three days, and then in three days' time, see which gender is actually getting us the most amount of traffic and most amount of leads. Okay, so we'll do. UK, 1855, uh, female we'll start off with, and then we can say, um, are we going to run audience interests or not? No, okay, I think we're just gonna stick to that. Why did my business manager just refresh? Do you guys see that? Okay, we'll have to quickly start again. Um, continue. Okay, so US, no, so UK, 18 to 55 female okay so that is what we had up until now and then let's see okay it went to whatsapp go to website and then there's a new feature actually within facebook which is the dynamic creative which we will be switching on and basically what this allows us to do is rather than split test all the different variables uh, Facebook will do that for us. So we can basically choose from four or five different headlines. We can choose a few different images and then Facebook will decide which uh, creative, so which combination um, will get us the best results. So it's basically like that campaign budget optimization, but then for um, basically, you know, the, the, the assets. So the, the copy and the, the headline, etc. Okay. In terms of our audience, we don't have a custom audience yet. In terms of the location, we are going to be doing UK. So you nice. Actually, no. Uh, where are we're not going to do just the whole of UK because no one's going to go from London to Liverpool to get 
uh, uh, T-Y-N-N. So, um, actually, instead of the address, we'll just do Liverpool. Liverpool. And then... How many kilometers? How many, how many miles is that? 40 km to 24 miles. Okay, yeah, that's a bit big to be fair. Let's do 30 kilometers. How many miles is that? 30 km, 18 miles. So I'm just trying to think, would someone from Chester drive all the way to Liverpool for a teeth whitening consultation? Um, 1.1 million as well, that's a big audience. Okay, we'll leave it like this for now. I, I just want to make a little change to the in detailed targeting and then we'll see how big the audience is. If it's still big, then we can always narrow it. Um, you know, basically do like plus 10 kilometers or something like that. So what do we say? We said 18 to 55. 1.4. Females, 730. And then what we can do quick hack for you guys is do engaged shoppers basically what this will allow us to do is find people that are more likely to basically like click on things on facebook so um, as you can see here people have clicked on the call to action button shop now in the past week okay another thing we can add to this is facebook payments which is basically people that have made a payment through Facebook in the last, uh, well, in this case, 90 days. Um, we can add the other one as well. Facebook payments users 30 days. There you go. What was that? I didn't actually know that was possible. Facebook payment. Um, with that. Higher than average spend. Okay. It actually didn't make much of a difference with our uh, estimates um, and then another thing we could do is um, we could for example add something like uh, people that have an interest in teeth whitening if that even exists teeth let's see teeth cleaning okay but as you can see it doesn't make much of a difference in terms of our audience so we'll just leave that as is for now actually that is quite small um, so what we could do, I'm not actually, I don't want to make increase that. So we'll keep the reach as is. Um, we'll keep this as is. Let's actually see what happens if we remove engaged shoppers. 3,900. Okay, so we'll need to keep the engaged shoppers. There we go. Okay, so we'll keep this as is. As you can see, it's um, it's quite, quite an okay audience. Um, the estimated results are basically 11 to 31,000 reach and anywhere between 92 and 265 clicks. I never really look at this guys, it's just more of an estimate. Um, in terms of the placements, I always do manual placements and then I always start with the Facebook news feed first. Okay, remove stories, remove in stream, remove in article. Hundred twenty thousand people is what we can reach with this uh, placement, and then in terms of the our delivery, we're going to optimize for landing page views. Okay, so now we've set up our campaign. We are running this to uh, so running traffic to the website, and uh, we're basically focused on people in in and around Liverpool. And then in the next video, we've also set up our ad set. In the next video, we'll uh, look at our actual advertisements and then we'll you know uh, set up our landing page and then connect everything together. So hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in lesson three. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed part two of the Watch Me Build a lead generation campaign for dentists by using Facebook ads. In the next part of so part three, we are going to be setting up our landing page with Click funnels. Now, for those of you that want um, additional guidance and help from me, I do actually offer a coaching, um, like it's a coaching program where you basically you know, get me as your personal coach 
I will show you how you can start your own social media agency and basically take you to the next level with social media marketing. You get personal access to me via WhatsApp. So it's not just like a, a generic course that you get access to with a few videos. You actually get access to me via WhatsApp. You can contact me on a daily basis. You get access to the WhatsApp uh, mastermind group. You get access to the weekly live coaching calls every single Sunday. And of course you get access to my lifestyle design mastery course. So for those of you that made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. Leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in part three.